Good morning, gardeners. Did you know first thing in the morning you should be out checking out your garden and all your plants, see how everything's doing, talk to them, sing to them, tell them how good life is if they grow bigger and how you would enjoy eating them when they get ripe. So right now today is watermelon day. I'm going to go ahead and walk through and show you all my vining um, melon, watermelon, cucumber, and so like that, vine and plants on the outside of my garden. And we'll see what's growing, what's not, and you know, what's going to be coming in. Here we go. Let's take a little tour. Okay, this is a Congo, a double Congo watermelon vine. It's doing good. It's growing but it quite didn't get there yet. It's got some blossoms just starting right now. My green honeydew over here, it did not take, don't know why. And as we come over here, we got a crimson sweet and it's starting to give off blossoms now. Hopefully soon it will be giving off some fruit there may be one in there that i don't see that small now we come over here to a congo watermelon my congos are blooming they're going to be setting fruit here shortly i don't see any at the moment this kajari melon did not take off Can't pronounce that, but here's a melon plant. Setting blossoms, hopefully fruit soon. Here's a butternut, setting fruit and blossoms. We have another Congo. Um, starting to set blossoms and starting to set fruit very good and there might be some hidden in there you can't see them all i try not to disturb all the leaves we have a crimson sweet over here it is set in fruit and blossoms Coming over here, we have a Gingin's Pride Melon. Set in fruit. And blossoms. Over here, we have a Kajari Melon. It's got a lot, a lot of blossoms going on. This is a, a winter plant, but I'm, I'm waiting to see how good it does. It's starting to set fruit. I'm going to train it to go up this ladder and down the other side. Over here we have Armageddon Long Yard Cucumber. I'm training it to go up the ladder. It's got a lot of blossoms. I don't know if it's got any fruit in there yet. It looks like it looks like there's one right here let me see see that long cucumber let me move this see that long cucumber right there anyway it's setting fruit and then we come over here and we're looking at a crimson sweet we got some melons that look to be pretty nice coming in over here I can't see my uh, screen but I'm, I'm pointing to it so I would think you could see them in there they're doing doing pretty good there's more more nice small ones and blossoms happening and then over here we got a Congo again 
Once again, I'm checking on the fly as I go around. Hard to hard to see what's happening in there. Okay. And over here we got a gold in gold. These are beautiful. Got a lot of blossoms happening. Got some really nice some really nice fruit happening. Got new ones coming in. Got a lot of blossoms. They're looking good. Over here we got a a bush sugar baby. Only one on there. And then we come over here, we got another golden gold. And it said in fruit and blossoms. Real easy to see these um, the fruit coming in because they're yellow and they they stand out. They're supposed to be gold on the outside like they are and gold on the inside. And over here we got a crimson sweet. Got some melons coming in. And over here we got a bush sugar baby right here got one on that vine and coming over here what do we got we got a georgia rattlesnake well they're blossoming i don't know about the fruit yet i can't see any they might be hiding and coming over to this one this is another congo congos get real thick in there and they're hard to see so there could be fruit in there. I don't want to really disturb the growth, so I'm not stepping in there. But I don't see any big ones yet. When they get bigger, I'll be able to see them. And we got a honeydew green flesh over here. I've got labels on everything on, on poles here by my drip system. I put, I put a PVC pipe with label so I know what it is. And it goes right down to my drip. So when these get full and surround my drip... If there's a problem, I, I know exactly where it is and I won't be lost. So anyway, here's a nice fruit happening. There's blossoms and there's probably more in there. I don't know. This here, this is another bush sugar baby. It's got one on there. So far, all those are giving off one. Over here, we've got a crimson sweet. Crimson Sweet is setting off fruit really nicely. Okay, here's another Golden Gold, it looks like. Got a lot of Golden Golds going on side by side. One, two, three, four, there's a bunch over there. You can really see those good. This is another Congo. Said sudden blossoms. I don't know about fruit. Oh, here you go. Congo is setting fruit. I just happened to see that one. This is a honeydew over here. Green flesh. Honeydew green flesh. Got melons happening. And new ones coming in. And what do we got over here? This is another, another Congo. I don't know, it's real thick, hard to see in there. But we're coming over to Crimson Sweet over here. And we got Crimson Sweet melons happening right here. That one looks like a nice one. Got more coming in. I seen them the other day, but it looks like a lot of growth. A lot of growth are over them now, so I don't want to disturb them, but they're down in there.
Okay, that was um, my melon tour for the outside. I still got my grapevines to do. I'm not going to do them in this video. Still got the tomatoes in the garden to do. Not going to do it in this video. But on the inside of my garden, I got some vines happening. So let's go ahead and, and take a look and see what those look like at the moment. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got some squash up here. If I go around. Got a bunch of squashes hiding out. hard to get in there over here we got a green apple and I seen some fruit coming in and there were some bigger ones in there here but there is a lot of fruit happening then over here we got the cactus we got a lot of a lot of fruit Climbing up the vine, got small fruit, big fruit. Let's go around this way. This one here is changing color. It's just about ready, but got other fruits coming up the vine over here. We got plenty more hanging out in the growth. Up on top, we're still setting um, blossoms. And as, as these leaves are growing back, as I cut them back, you're starting to see more. Um, there's more around. And then over here, oh, got a PD grass. It's growing some fruit, got a lot of blossoms. And then over here, we got fruit, fruit coming in, a lot of blossoms. And I don't see the label of what that one is. And here we got, I can tell what these are. These are butternut squash. They're growing up over here. Um, and that one there is another long yard. It's got a lot of blossoms. Got a ways to go. Um, got a lot of fruit happening here on the top that's yet to come in. Okay, let's go around. Okay, coming up over here. Got the vine happening, got it going up, got blossoms. Uh, coming over here, we got dragon egg cucumber. This, they're looking good, they're starting to ripen. them. Got a bunch, got a bunch going on. I've been spraying for uh, downy over here and uh, powdery mildew. Um, got it under control. I got to take some more leaves off. But the undersides got a little bit more I got to get to. You see what it looks like on the other side? So I got to come out here and spray and get, tackle those. But here's a long yard, long yard. Got some butternut squash. Some more butternut squashes over here. Yeah, and there's tomatoes happening, but let me go around. Okay. This, uh, here's the name of it. Mod Rajas or whatever. Um, hard to pronounce. Uh, got fruit, ha fruit sets happening and blossoms. Over here we got butternut squash, and then over here, this here is your sour gherkin Mexican cucumber, and if you look, it's starting to set fruit, it's got blossoms happening, so I'm happy about that. Got some yellow scallops over here. 
Okay, over here, got some nice straight eight cucumbers. My alarm's going off. These vines are looking good. Oop, I got them trained to go up and over. Let me shut off my alarm. There's my alarm. Okay, I gotta shut off my irrigation. Okay, coming on this side. Got a bunch of cucumbers. They, they seem to be doing very well. There's plenty of them hiding in groups. I mean, there's like lots and lots. I don't know. Let me get it my hand. Lots and lots in here. They're basically just hanging around. Uh, we got some beans over here that are looking good. And then over here, we got some more butternut squash, all looking good. Okay. Go over here. I've got some squash. They're looking good. We got butternut. Got squash. I had to hold these up. I had to hold up this big one up here and some other ones going around over here I had to hold those up got more butternut squash on this side they're looking like really good right now I'm holding these up they're starting to change color right here so they're getting close okay those are looking good another squash and butternut tomatoes here's a sneak peek at a sneak peek that's some really, really nice tomatoes. They're all doing good. Yeah, they're definitely ripening. Some of the all vine ripening. I've been getting in here and picking. And okay, that's the vine and plants in here. Nope, oh, can't forget these. These are the blue lakes. My blue lakes are doing awesome. Been Giving tons of these to my neighbors. I've been stir frying them. Here's my bird's nest right here. They're they're doing really good. It's it's almost all oh, up. It just flew out. There it goes. <laughs> so far she's not attacked me, but she's sitting on her nest. Okay. Got peppers and all that. But here's my sour gherkins over here. I'm training it to go up. And onto this vine, it's looking really nice and healthy right here. And of course, you know, all of those are doing good, but that's for a different video. All the peppers are for a different video. Here's another sour gherkin. I'm training it to go up. Okay. And then we have... Oops. And then we have muscadine grapevines they seem to be doing really well muscadine grapevine seems to be doing really well probably can't see it let me go down and turn around because that Sun okay I'm gonna go down and turn around I don't want the camera facing the Sun because you probably won't be able to see anything and my my wrist is falling asleep holding this camera up okay let's go ahead and do these grapevines Okay, got muscadine grapevine, got my irrigation going. I trained the vine to come up. It's going along this trellis. I got it going up and going along this trellis. I still got to train this vine to go around and another vine over here to go around that way. But if you look closely, got blossoms happening and we got fruit sets happening. Those are blossoms. See the blossoms that turn into fruit. 
they look to be doing good and on the top same thing got blossoms got fruit sets happening it's all looking really well here's another vine still got a train I'm training it to go that way and it's got to go up and over yet this vine here still got a ways to go to go up and go that way and then go up and over the top okay this is a new one I got this year it made it up to the first cable and it made it to the second cable this cable here is going to get lowered down to over here pretty soon oh here's another golden gold watermelon vine I forgot this one here I plant it in one of my culverts and here's a uh, melon came coming in over there I forget what kind of melon that is I'd have to look at the tag um, this one here it's coming up it's brand new this year and I got to attach it Okay, over here is another grapevine coming up. Got it on the trellis over here. Got grapes coming in. Here's another one. It's going down that way. Got grapes coming in. And I trained it to go this way. This side still got to go on there. And this top one's going over. All in all, that one's looking good. Okay, this grapevine's coming up over here. It trained on that one didn't get this one yet but there's two branches I'm leaving right here because I'm gonna lower the cable down to here and these two are gonna be on it and this one I'll probably take off but not this season and it's doing good and there's got grapes on there Ooh. got this grapevine coming up it's trained on this one started this one started on that and got it trained on the top going both ways once again I'm going to drop this down to the top of this post so I'll pull this branch down and this branch down I'll pull those uh, sections of items down um, when I get some cable and redo that, all you got to do is kind of cut um, where they're attached to the vine. And then you could kind of just, it's a vine, you just lower it. You could take the whole cable off and redo your trellis if you need it to, to happen down the road. Okay, here's another grapevine coming up. I got it training on this, but... This part here still got to grow up and over. And these are double cables here. Got this one trained already on the bottom one. And this one trained on the top one going that way. It's still got to go this way. This is about the right height. Because you could pick the bottom ones and pick the top ones without going up. Those there. These cables are my deer cables. And I just decided to use them. And then I put in the second one. But I need to lower it. So I'll need a little ladder on some of those um, to trim them up at the end of the, the season. Okay, it's growing both ways on this cable. It's going up. It's finally attaching to the top. I'll train it to go both ways. Okay, this one here is attaching to the left. Here, here's a section here. I'm going to train it to the right. And it's already attached going both ways on the top of the cable. And here's my end one coming up. I attached it going that way. And I attached this one going that way. And that's all that's going to happen with that. Okay, so let's go to the other side and check out some more grapevines. Whew, little morning tour. When I walk over here, I gotta watch where I walk because of all those uh, melon vines. Let me turn this around.
Okay, so that's the grapevines going down that way. Okay, I got this grapevine coming up. I got it's got a little bit more go, a little more to go before I attach it to this one and then that one. This grapevine came up. I'm training it now, right here. I'm I bending this one down to here. This section here, I'm gonna put on this one, and I'm just leaving these because they got grapes on them. But the the top one attached at the end of the season. There's a ladybug. The end of the season, I'll cut that off and try transplanting it. Coming here, I got the grapevine coming up. I attach it to this cable. There's no cable here, but it's going up. I attach it to that cable, this cable, and then I need one going on that side of the cable there. Coming over to the front side. This one here is coming all the way on over. I got it going this way. I got to get a vine to start going that way. Over here, they're going both ways. I'm just now getting this where it's going to go along that cable. And this one's going to grow along that one and up. Just like this one here. I got this one coming up. It's going this way now. And it's going up that. Like that. And then this one's coming this way. It's going to go straight across the entrance. And then this one here is going to go straight down that way. On my new section over here, this one I'm going to train this way and that way. But after these water mounts this year, right over here, I'm going to put a, a grapevine to come up and attach it to the top. This is a new gate that I'm working on right here to go into this section. Okay, so let's go around to my hookah culture area. Got some more new grapevines that I planted. Okay, this is a new grapevine I planted this year. It's coming up. It's got a ways to go before I attach it, but it's looking good. Here's your new grapevine. It's got a long ways to go up. Uh, it's got a little bit of a uh, leaf fungus happening I've been spraying but it's real hu hot and humid over here this vine did not take this vine did not take so I gotta replant those this is a new vine I planted this year it made it up to the top of the trellis. It's doing good, so it's going to go on to that cable here shortly. This was my old pump house. I took it off with the tractor. I'm building a new one. This grapevine here, it only made it up this far. It's got to go all the way to the top. So... Okay, so there's a little tour of all my vine implants. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, basically every morning when I wake up, I come out here, I turn on my well pump, and I walk the garden. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to work over here. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Yeah. Hope everybody's having a blessed morning. Bye.